I'ma shine when it's showtime Self-made, I don't need a cosign I don't be around these fake ass suckers Sun up the grave, shit, push my shit with my numb I'm doing my numb, I'm doing my numb Ask around in them streets, boy, I'm doing my numb About that, dealt that, wholesale what you need I told you before, I still get it cheap I don't be around these fake ass suckers Sun up the grave, shit, shit What does it take? I know you say with the social media, people have too much easy access. What do you think it takes for artists to get you to play their music? Get me to play it? Yeah. Bring that home. First. Where you from? Where you from? We from Virginia. So bring it home in Virginia first before you come to me. Everything is broken in Virginia. Charlotte. Yeah, I got it to my yard. Not you. <laughs> Oh, okay. You gotta be a DJ or somebody to vouch for you at home if it's hot. Like, I get a lot of people say hot to me, come here and tell me how hot they are, but. But don't the question. Do, don't do nothing for me if I jump off the plane over there and ain't nobody telling me about your record. It wasn't or, for me, it was in general. No, no, just in general. I'm talking about in general. Or somebody ain't hit me already and said something. I got so many DJs, it should just be automatic for somebody to say, man, you should check this out. Like, we got this over here. You don't get that a lot, you know what I'm saying? Okay. If somebody real hot, real hot in their market, get somebody to get it national. You, you should, I don't even think nobody should stay in their market. After they got a hot record at home, don't stay home and do every show that somebody offer you. Wear your name out at home. It's time to take it on the road. That's not good. One last question for you. I followed you over the years to the career of a lot of the DJs and a lot of the artists that you grew up with. Do you feel like you have that same great? You see it great, you said, you know what, I did what I was doing. How does it make you feel? Somebody has to push it. Just stay in the office, that's it. <laughs> Nothing. I just, that's what I was supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? That's it. That's how I feel, you know. You know, blessings come from that. You know what I'm saying? Because once they're successful, they'll tell somebody else. That person will tell 10 people. That person will tell 20 people it was him. You know, and that, that's how it goes. You know what I'm saying? That, that, that's what I like to see. What legacy are you trying to leave behind with core DJs? You just saying. <laughs> you just saying. Elaborate on that real quick. Yeah. Like who? What can you? I mean, how can how can you how can you do that? How can you? You saw that? I. Did. You know how can you beat that? Have a cool hurt at your conference DJ. Like that's what that's what I'm trying to do. Like that's what I'm trying to do. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be like that cool hurt. The African bop and bottles, people that left some kind of legacy to. Them. Hip hop, you know what I'm saying? You know, showing people how to do it in this age now, digitally. You know what I'm saying? That, that's what I'm trying to do. You know, it's the same grind, but more sophisticated. You know, you thinking about uh, on an international level? Where you got London, you got different DJs on the international level. You think about going global with it? Are they already there? Global. I got DJs in Asia, Canadian DJs. Oh, it's about 20 of them here. I got. Uh, my DJs in London, you know what I'm saying? Uh, core Africa, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we already doing that. You know what I'm saying? We, we got that going. Core Latino right there. My VP is right there. My vice president. This is my vice president. You can't Latino. do any of these toys. I'm just taking pictures. Yeah, I, I lost my voice, y'all. So. Yeah, if you lost your voice this weekend, that's how it's supposed to be. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so it, it's, it's like a everybody. The core is just a big family. You know what I'm saying? That's that's, and that's the way we. You know, we got extended family, we got family. Julie, that's my father family right there too. You like, we got extended family. And that's what it is. Either you're an affiliate or, or you're a close family member. And we just get together and get stuff done. That's what it is, you know what I'm saying? No matter what it takes, we get it done we together. Get it done. Yeah, exactly. We get it done. If I got a question, I can call Tony asking that question. That's right, the same. I learned a lot from her, you know what I'm saying? I'm not never ashamed to learn stuff from people that exactly. I watched when I was coming up. You exactly. know what I'm saying? So, and I just take everything, I take collaboration, everything I learned from her, stuff that I learned from Renee, stuff that I learned from Rand. And I take and I put it all together. And you know, then that's me. You know what I'm saying? And that's the cool I put my I put my me on it. You know what I'm saying? Tony, question. You have a lot of sponsors uh, you know, assist you in collaboration with you. How can someone uh, be a part of core DJs? References. We go by referrals, like. Wait, what part of Virginia are from? Where are you from? Richmond. So, we hit uh, Jack of Spade. Hit Jack, or hit uh, Foot. Or hit somebody over in that area. And if they call 
question you question about the core. They refer us. I even take like two or three people I refer from that market. Like this person is this what they say. Sometimes if I really want to be sure, I go over there and see. Most of the time I do that, I find somebody else that wasn't even really talking about. <laughs> but for the most part, I mean, and they don't even have to be on the radio. I just gotta see if they got some kind of potential. I can look at somebody and tell. I've been doing this, so I can look and tell like mm, this person might be something out there, you know what I'm saying? And a gang of them out there can tell you that. You know, and somebody took a chance on them and said, you know what? I ain't got nobody in this market. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Well, the per prime example, ASAP, you know what I'm saying? I got a lot of examples of DJs that I put faith in and conversation with and just brought out what they already had in them. You know what I'm saying? So that's how it is. So to answer your question, we just go by referrals. You know, refer this DJ, have a conversation with him. You know, it's like the legends, for instance, like the legends, that's that's what it is. They already put the work in. It's as if they're interested, you know what I'm saying, of being in the core. I, we, we, the reason why we got other people in the core outside of DJs because other people outside of DJs make hip hop move too. You know what I'm saying? Like that's my that's my my cameraman right there. You know what I'm saying? Like everything we have entities. It's like a one stop shop. That's my publicist right there. That's my manager right there. Like that's my that's my assistant right there. Like we have a one stop shop. Like you can ask somebody in the core anything, and more more than likely they got the answer for you directly where you need to go. That's what it's about. Last question is going to be, um, what do you have coming up, you personally, um, in your, in the, your independent brand? Mm. Tony well, Neal brand. Yeah, well, I've, I've been working on a lot. I've been working on a lot of my stuff, you know. Um, I got my album coming out. I'm working on my album. You know, I got a record. That I, when I put the records out that I'm doing in my way, is I'm, I'm helping independent artists. I'm using my name to brand an artist that nobody even knows or got a hot record. He got somewhat of a buzz, but he just ain't really went over that hill yet. So I put my name on it. We get together, do the paperwork, of course, put the record out, put the video out. We ain't really chasing radio. We just kind of let the radio record grow by itself. You know what I'm saying? Just throw out, smash out, put a bunch of singles out, get it played across the country, get it played wherever it is, maybe play. Sometimes your record might not be able to get played. I just found out that my record is the biggest record in Jacksonville. <laughs> I didn't know that. Tonight, you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? I, I didn't know that. I'm rushing to try to get a play to Milwaukee at home or here, and it's big in Jackson. So I just found that out today. But working on records, working on producers, working with Born Stars, that's that's the, our entity right there. Um, Sherelle keeping me on point, <laughs> trying <laughs> try to keep me, make me a little bit more public. You know, I, I, I ain't really like, you know, that public, but <laughs> you can think of trying to make me a little bit more public, you know what I'm saying? So. Um, then I got a couple websites that I work. I already got more mixshows.com, of course, coredjs.com, the DJ A and R. It's like the media base for nightclub DJs, street DJs. We talked about that earlier, and then I got another one, raphd.com. So yeah, that's that's I'm working on a lot of different stuff myself outside the core for myself this year. You know what I'm saying? A couple of, of events. See if I'm nominated again for BET for the fifth time.